days since you have last seen the engines on the North Coast Railway, and James was now no longer on Hankey's docking area, and Jeremy and Percy had just arrived with a train of trucks. Great job. Now, I want you to take these trucks over to Natford. Apparently, we're supposed to be unloading something special from the main line train. Wow, is it James's? No, it's even better. It's Flying Scotsman's and Spencer's. Wow, and they puffed away as quick as they could to unload the other bits of cargo. James was on a siding when the two engines puffed up to him as they were going straight on ahead from here. Hello, James. What do you want? The Flying Scotsman and Spencer are back. Really? Great. Why are you so excited? It's not like they're your best friends or anything. No, they're not. But that's it beside them. Where'd you go? Never mind. I can just plan my revenge on Flying Scotsman alone then. Ooh, this is gonna be good. Meanwhile, the little Enducks were going as fast as they could. They were going so fast that they managed to make it to Britain Docks early. Oh, why are you so here so early? We have to get to Spencer and Flying Scotsman. They're right over there. Yes, I know that. I saw them come in. You don't have to rush, though. Yes, we do. It's very important. Fine. But I wasn't expecting you in the first place. And you better hope I'm in a good mood, which I am. I can't move. I'm stuck. Sorry. You'll have to keep the cargo on. You'll have to do it at Natford. Oh, no. Well, tough. I didn't want to do that either, but now you have to. But it wasn't long until they were stopped by another obstacle. Get out of the way, Thomas. No can do. Natford's packed. I'm not allowing any more engines in. Oh, oh well. We can see him when they've, when they've come to the sheds and they wish away. Well, we'd better inform James before he ends up crashing the party or breaking the bunch of rules. Exactly. Then they arrived above of Gerwood Junction, where James was. He was still planning. Uh, hello James. We have a bit of news to inform you about. What is it? Well, there's a problem at Knapford. It's a bit overcrowded. And by that I mean Flying Scotsman and Spencer are there. Yes, I already knew that, but just please tell me there's a way to get in. Well, there is. At the front, here, it's apparently left open. But we have to go back, Jeremy. We don't need to stop it there. You're right. Anyway, have a good day. But James had an idea. Well... I can crash the party for both Lion Scotsman and Spencer. Ha ha ha. The little engines were still going down the branch line when James had already set off. It's all clear now. Wait, what? The station's ready. You can come into the station. Wait, really? Yes, follow me right in. What a stroke of luck! Let's go, Jeremy. Okay, Percy, but we'll have to rush on the way back. No problem. The small engines came into the station and were instantly welcomed by Flying Scotsman and Spencer. But Thomas had something urgent to say. Well, I have to go back to making sure that no other engines come in. Right you are, Thomas. I will have to get both of them out. Meanwhile, James was still heading towards Natford Station. He wasn't going that fast, because he was saving coal and water for when he would eventually crash into them. It felt good for James to be running the normal speeds again, but still, he needed to focus at the plan at hand. 
James, you can't go into the gap because it's too... Oh. But James went onto the ranch line instead, leaving Thomas very confused. James was now going right next to Gerwood Junction, and then his plan came into action where he decided to become a runaway. James was steaming into Knapford Station. James, look out! Ow! The damage was very, very bad. Both Jeremy and Percy were badly damaged and the trucks had came off the rails. Both Flying Scotsman and Spencer were horrified. And after the tall controller being silent for a few seconds, he bellowed, James, why did you crash into Jeremy and Percy? I'm sorry, sir. I came in as a runaway. Well, hmm. Really, did you? What went wrong this time? My brakes, sir. They weren't working. Well, we'll have those brakes checked up right away. But I'm still very cross that you didn't alarm us just as you were coming into the station. That way, Jeremy and Percy could have backed out of the way. But they still would have been blocked by Thomas. Oh, you do make a good point there. But still, the damage could have been less heavy than you think it was, could have been. Soon the damage was all cleaned up and Thomas had to take the little engines all the way back to Gerwood Junction and James's tender was put back onto the rails but the driver had had a discussion with the tall controller which less left him very puzzled. James, you did say that your brakes weren't working, right? Yes, sir. Well, the driver said they were completely fine, and afterwards, they are still fine. Maybe a bit bumped and bruised, but that was probably because of the crash. Were you telling lies? <sighs> yes, sir, I was. Well, why were you trying to hit Jeremy and Percy? They haven't done nothing to you. No, they didn't, sir. But I think I know what might have happened. James were, was told by me to play a trick on those little engines. So it was your doing. Yes, it was. And I'm very ashamed of it. So James was probably trying to hit me instead of those little engines who haven't done nothing to him, like you said. So really, I think it's my fault. Yes, you are in quite a bit of heap of trouble. And I was thinking about get, adding you to one of the new engines on the railway. Really, sir? But I might change my mind now, due to these recent events. And James, you should have told me, instead of doing another naughty deed and knocking out two of our most valuable engines. I'm sorry, sir. Well, I won't give you a punishment as crushing as crashing and damaging your tender is hard enough. Anyway, back to work, all of you. Okay, sir. And a few days later, everything had changed. Jeremy and Percy were still being constru reconstructed, and Flying Scotsman was now one of the new members of the steam team. Thomas had been given his own little area to play with, and James had now been you been used to doing shunting duties but yet everything seemed right but then something came something that is worth mentioning in the next episode <laughs>